someone with raised intracranial pressure like you'd treat someone in here? As a fellow, one of uh, my roles is to help educate the junior staff so that you know the residents or the medical students. Uh, sometimes we also have observers from other countries. And again, we'll talk a little bit more about the treatment of all these things in a second. But yeah, so every Thursday, the fellows are in charge of the morning report. And essentially, uh, one of us takes uh, a case of the day or a case of the week and, and we uh, try and sort of frame it around a particular uh, part of medicine that we want to talk about. I think it's much more engaging for the residents to have it based on a, a particular case instead of just having a lecture because you know, we've all been to med school, we've all been to uni and we've had thousands of lectures over the years and it's nice to have something a little bit more clinical based. We've got up to 10 international fellows. We've got some from Greece, some from the Dominican Republic, uh, people from Saudi Arabia, you know, Egypt, uh, you know, Britain, Scotland. Uh, so people from everywhere and as well as learning from senior staff, you're learning from your peers because all of these fellows have specialties back in their own country. A lot of the learning we do is just informal, it's chatting um, about cases after the, it's occurred or debriefing about stressful nights we've had or um, sometimes just over a beer at the bar, just catching up afterwards and uh, so generally you're learning uh, all the time. Like eight litres a minute or something. Part of our fellowship is learning to be better educators and hopefully I'm okay. <laughs>